My wife spoils me too much. Chapter 36, the day before Juo's grandmother's birthday, the banquet was taken off, and Tang Tang and Ji Xiaoying went straight to the imperial capital. Located on the outskirts of the imperial city, Juo Jia Old House is a large-scale mansion with a dedicated person standing guard and patrolling every day. This is the first time that Tang Tang has seen such a discouraged and solemn house. And he has a new understanding of Juo's status. In the past, I saw that Zhu Ji's temperament knew that his family must be rich. Now she knows that this is not just something that can be done with money. Zhu Ji's family is not only rich but also entitled. Gu Chang'an and Ji Yu seem to be very rich. How do husbands? Friends are so simple. Isn't that husband not simple? Tang Tang suddenly remembered what Gu Ruan said to her last time. She said that Ji Jia has a military family. Is it also very powerful? Sensitively perceived the inquiry eyes coming to her side. The quarterly banquet turned to look at Tang Tang. What? Tang Tang's lips? I wanted to open my mouth and ask, but I thought about it and shook my head again. It's okay. The feast of the season thought she was not used to such a place and patted her head like a small shot of the season. Don't be afraid, just like in your own home. Don't be restrained. Tang Tang's thoughts are gone. He is full of his own eyes. He shot his head for the first time, so happy it therefore. Ji Ying saw that. His mother had inexplicably smiled at his father and could not help but shake his head. The woman was really difficult to understand. Grandma Zhuo heard the guardian's report saying that the quarterly banquet was coming. And she was carrying a small child. It was guessed that Ji Xiaoyan was very happy. He immediately greeted him at the gate. And when he saw Ji Xiaoying's chubby cute figure, a heart has to be turned. And I will come up a few steps. Oh, this is a small sister. It's been a long time since grandma didn't see you. It's so oh, big. Ji Xiaoyan saw the old man with a fair hair but very good looking and his clever little head turned around. He immediately knew that this was the grandmother who sent him a little golden monkey. Now, he let go of his father and mother's hand and rushed toward the old man. However, he knew that the old man couldn't collide. So he took control of the strength and fluttered into the arms of Juo's grandmother, screaming at her legs and shouting, Grandma, hey, to grandma's little sister, Chu's grandmother grinned at the little girl's eyebrows, and her heart was so soft that she couldn't wait to bring the little guy into her heart. Zhuo Ji, who was in a wheelchair behind Zhuo's grandmother, saw his grandmother's appearance when he saw Ji Xiaoyan's appearance. He laughed and laughed. He had to step forward to greet the banquet and Tang Tang. You forgive me. Grandma is forgetting everything when she sees a child. We are no different from the air in her heart now. Tang Sugar grinned. The banquet also evoked the corner of the lips and helped Juo's wheelchair to help him push. Understand. Juo's grandmother hopes that you will get married and have a baby for more than 10 years. It's not surprising now. Juo Ji shook his head and laughed. He smiled with bitterness. I don't want to harm other girls like this. The banquet glanced at the banquet and took a shot on Juo Ji's shoulder. Don't be such a big brother. If you meet someone you like, don't let people go away. You deserve to be a good girl. Zhuo Ji laughed and said nothing. At this time, Zhuo Grandma, who had enough fragrance with Ji Xiaoyan, remembered other people. After laughing and taking the arm of the banquet, she turned her eyes to the candy she had never seen before. She did not see any surprise. Only mild, the feast was introduced to her. Grandma, this is Tang Tang, Xiao Yan's mother. We haven't come to visit you since we got married. I will bring her to see you this time. Jua's wife's eyes were skipped in the two, and it was instantly seen that there was a change between the two, but nothing was asked or even said. Just laughing and pulling the hand of the Tang Tang sugar, good. Boy, more and more banquet come see me and see your junior grandmother happy. Tang Tang seriously nodded. Grandma of the meeting, I will come to see you later. There was a glimmer of gratification in Ju's grandmother's eyes. It seems that Ji, Jizzy is suffering hard. 
These few children finally have another person to welcome happiness when a group of people sat down in the living room. The banquet will be handed to the candy box in his hand and handed to Tang Tang. Whispering, give the gift to grandma, Tang Tang said to himself, silently asked, I, the quarter feast nodded. Tang Tang didn't understand why he didn't give Zhuo grandma directly, but wanted her to give it. But I believe he must have his reasons, so he took the gift. Vox nervously grasped the fist and took the gift box under his gaze. Going forward to the grandmother, Grandma, this is the birthday gift we have prepared for you. I wish you a blessing like Dong Hai Shu Bi Nanshan. Zhuo's grandmother reached out and took a look at Tang Tang and the feast of the season. You kids are just love to pay. Grandma, as long as you guys come, you don't need gifts, and you have to rack your brains to prepare me. Is it true that grandmother is an old lady who is greedy in your eyes, still not waiting for the feast of the season and the smell of Tang Tang? Zhuo Ji will lightly laugh and ask for mercy. Grandma, don't be angry with me. I will not be able to prepare a cheap birthday gift for you next time. The season feast asked Juji to ask what happened. Zhuo Jaifu helped the smile. When Zhuo's grandmother saw that he did not answer, he would reply to him instead, Your big brother is really good. I sent a picture of Han Palace's birthday. This picture is that he spent a hundred million auction back. I am going to land soon. The old woman's birthday needs to be so big, this statement, in addition to Ji Ying. Who has not much idea about the money? Everyone else has been embarrassed. Especially Tang Tang, who was scared by this number and almost forgot to breathe. Oh, 100 million, how much is that? In this contrast, the gift she took out was simply too cheap. Tang Tang suddenly felt that the gift in his hand was too bad. And he was a little afraid to send it. The banquet was only a second of laughter. And said to Zhuo's grandmother, Grandma, this is a big brother's heart. If you have a big brother, don't blame him. Grandma Zhuo ordered a quarterly feast with her. Fingers, you will talk to your older brother. I haven't said you yet. You have to pay for it. Although Zhuo's grandmother is a 10-year-old queen in front of outsiders. There is no difference between them in front of their juniors and ordinary. Elders, the love that loves, the criticism will never be soft. Less is taught by your grandma. But this season's banquet was a smile. Grandma, you can't say me this time. I didn't send such expensive gift like my eldest brother. The gift I gave didn't cost money. It was Tang Candy who did it for you. This statement was made to let Zhuo Grandma stunned, surprised and happy to see Tang Tang. Is it done by Tang Tang? What do you do? Give your grandmother a look. Tang Tang was too little for the gift and could not help but sneak into the banquet and found that he was also looking at her and gently nodded to her, which made her less so embarrassed, which whispered, Grandma, I heard that you like to wear a skirt, so I will give you. One, I hope you like it. When Jua's grandmother heard interest, she simply reached out and opened the box. Well, this gift grandma likes it. You have the most heart. At the moment when the lid was opened, the clothes inside were presented in front of everyone. Although they could not see the whole picture, Jua's grandmother was instantly surprised by the exquisiteness of the clothes. They could not take the tops and skirts separately and looked at them carefully. Like, the eyes are full of surprises. When I saw a pair of exquisite embroidered shoes at the bottom of the box, Jew's grandmother, who had not done embroidered shoes for many years, was so excited and touched that she couldn't put it down. The set of skirts and embroidered shoes made by Tang Tang to Jew's grandmother is improved according to the favorite and best looking dress of her old lady. The same honor is gorgeous, but it is better than that. The piece is more suitable for Juo's grandmother's temperament. In order to achieve the best results, she even secretly removed the original embroidery on the fabric and replaced it with her own embroidery. This made the effect even better. The clothes made by Tang Tang are really full of antique charm. The details are full of low-key luxury. At first glance, people feel precious and precious. They will never be confused with costumes in costume dramas. 
Jiuo's grandmother took the hand of Tang Tang's hand and patted it. Don Sugar, the clothes and shoes you made are so beautiful. Grandma really can't think of this time. I can still see such a good dress and shoes. Tang Tang, Grandma is really thank you very much, Grandma. You like it. Tang Sugar was blushed by Jiuo's grandmother's praise. I don't know what to say. The first reaction is to go to the quarterly banquet. The eyes at the banquet are smiling. Tang Tang is inside. I saw the same compliment. And I was even more embarrassed. Di Xiaoying, the mother's little brother, stood up at this time and said to Juo's grandmother, To grandma, my mother's clothes are so nice to wear. The clothes you lick me are made by my mother. And I am dressed handsome. Right. Would you like to try it too? I think that. If you put on new clothes, it will be more drunk. Small is really handsome today. Juo Grandma was amused by the little guy's words, very cooperating with the nod. Well, well, that's to Grandma to try this, to Grandma to become more beautiful. The servant helped Juo Grandma to go upstairs to change clothes. Juo Ji smiled and thanked Tang Tang Dao. Tang Sugar, thank you. Grandma has not been so happy for a long time. She really likes the clothes and shoes you made, Grandma. Always regrets. The craftsmanship of the ancestors was lost, and she couldn't do what she wanted. I didn't expect to make up for it today. Tang Tang puts his hand on it. Don't thank you, Shuo Ji. A gift is not worth any money. It is just a heart. Grandma likes it. Shuo Ji can see the true meaning of Tang Tang. Cannot help but look at the quarterly banquet, patted his shoulder silently conveyed something. The banquet was hooked back in response. At this time, Zhuo Grandma changed clothes, and the antique dresses and embroidered shoes were very elegant. Together with the hair on the plate, the old man who was spirited was full of spirit and enthusiasm. Everyone was amazed by the effect of this body. I didn't expect to look good, and it was more beautiful to wear. Ji Xiaoying was the first to run over, he erected two fleshy thumbs and praised him. To Grandma, you are so busy, and you are drunk with the goddess on TV. Ji Xiaoying recently liked to watch Gongdu with Tang Tang. He felt that the goddess was beautiful. Ju's grandmother was amused by his description, and he loved to pinch his little hand. Well, Grandma is the same as the maiden. Is it so powerful? Ji Xiaoying had a small head in a serious position. Yes. Even if a woman is old, she likes to be exaggerated. Chu's grandmother is overwhelmed by Ji Xiaoyan. Zhuo Ji couldn't help but ridicule the banquet. The banquet, Xiaoyan can. Ah. The skill of the girl is very good. A lot better than a few of them. You will not be a daughter-in-law in the future. The banquet was a smile. And I thought that if the season is small, if I dare to stay here, I will spend my wisdom on the girl. He promises to interrupt his dogleg. Ah, uh, Grandma, you are so beautiful. Today, a female voice came from the door. Everyone turned around and saw that Gu Chang'in came with Ji Yu, and Gu Ruin came with him. It was Ji Yu who spoke. She quickly ran to Juo's grandmother and hugged her in a spoiled manner. Grandma, this dress is really beautiful. Where is this dress? Grandma Juo smiled and patted her head. This is what Tang Tang gave me. It's good to see. Grandma decided to wear this suit tomorrow. Don't do it. Ji Yu turned around in surprise and immediately rushed to Tang Tang to hug her. Don Sugar, you are really amazing. When will you do it for me? I also want to wear it. Wearing such a skirt, I will go to take a photo shoot. And the costumes in the photo studio are too rough. Although I don't know. If the photo is awkward, Tang Tang unconditionally promised. Okay, I will give you one when I go back. Ah, Tang Tang, you are really good. Ji Yu held tighter. But holding the feeling is a bit different. Could not help but look at the Tang Tang. Sugar and pinched her face. Tang Sugar, are you getting fat? I feel that you are not so cute. Do you feel it? Tang Sugar broke down in an instant and quickly shared his labor results with Ji Yu. I think about getting fat every day, eating and eating every day, and stealing snacks at night with a small donkey. Now it's getting eight pounds faster. 
Hey, I'm over 80 pounds now, on the side of the quarterly banquet. I turned to see Tang Tang, and then I realized that she had stolen snacks every night, and he did not even find out. Ji Yu touched the skin of Tang Tang again. Not only is it fat, the skin is better, and the face is not as terrible as before. It seems that my skincare products are useful. Tang Tang nodded and nodded again. It's useful and useful. I use the skincare products you gave me every day. Now the skin has become a lot better. The hair is not so boring. I really thank you for the month. Ji Yu really happy for her. That's great. You have to work hard. I believe I can become a beautiful woman. Tang Tang can't dare to have such a high demand. I don't want to be ugly. The big beauty can't think about it. A little bit of her forehead in the month. Can you be confident? You believe me. With my experience of watching beautiful guys for so many years, waiting for you to raise your body and then gain a weight of 10 pounds is definitely a big beauty. When you look at Ji Ying, you know that you are not ugly. Tang Tang. Immediately corrected. Xia Xiao is long like his father is good looking, not long like me. It doesn't matter to me. Ji Yu shook his head and denied, isn't it? Don't you find out? Ji Ying is just like a quarterly banquet, but the real facial features are not like the banquet. Since his facial features are not like his father, it is definitely inherited from you, La. Tang Sugar did not believe this. How to see her and the little guys are not like, oh, you have to believe my judgment. You are unhealthy to the deformation. Ji Ying is blurred by the five senses, so I can't see it. But you have to know, my son looks good. How can the mother be ugly? Ji Yu said and turned to ask the season feast. I am right about the quarterly feast. Ji Xiaoxiao's five senses are not like you. The banquet looked at Ji Xiaoyan, who was being held in the arms of Gu Chang'an, and silently nodded. Ji Xiao's facial features are not like him. The little guy's facial features are much more delicate than him, but he does not know. This is not inherited from Tang Tang because when he met her, she was not very good looking. Tang Tang saw a bit of a surprise in the banquet. I couldn't help but look back and forth between the banquet and Ji Xiaoyan. I don't know if it was affected by Ji Yu's words. She suddenly felt that she had abandoned the flesh of Ji Xiao's face, the little guys. The five senses and the banquet seem to be not very similar. Is it true that she is like her? Impossible. Is it really beautiful when she is normal? The key is she normal. Hey, why didn't you have a picture of the previous one? Yes, one. Yes, one. Yes, one. My wife spoils me too much. Chapter 37. Jujia Old House has a special banquet for each of them. It is very comfortable to sleep, and there is no dream in one night. When Tang Shikar wakes up, he only feels refreshed. Looked at the side of the head, Ji Zhao Ying is spreading his hands and feet like a small frog. But the quarterly banquet has disappeared. Tang Shikar looked at the phone, only half past six. Where did you go so early? Tang Tang picked up and went to wash, put on clothes and went downstairs. There were no other people in the downstairs except for some servants. It seems that everyone is still asleep. The quarterly banquet is not here. Where is it going? Tang Tang suddenly remembered that when the banquet was at home, he had to go out for exercise every day. It was only after the realization that the banquet was going to exercise. There was a garden behind Juo's house. It should be going to practice there. Thinking of this, Tang Tang went directly to the back garden just as she is running and exercising every day. Today, she can run with her husband. The back garden of Juojia is particularly large. It is said to be a garden. It is better to say that it is a beautiful park with beautiful environment. Trees and trees and flowers and flowers are beautiful. The air inhaled in the nose is particularly fresh and the mood is getting better, but it is too big. And the figure of the banquet is not visible at all. Tang Tang walked along the path while admiring the beautiful scenery. I wanted to see if I could find the figure of the banquet. If I couldn't find the beautiful view, it would be good. When Tang Tang walked for almost a quarter of an hour, 
I finally saw that there was a figure running. In the distance, with the understanding of the banquet, she recognized that it was the figure of the banquet. But the side of the banquet was still there is another beautiful figure, Gururin. Tang Tang licked his lips and immediately stepped forward. To run behind them, he wanted to catch up with them. The two people in front of him ran too fast, and they couldn't catch up with her physical strength. The ground is adorned. Gu Yuran's footsteps are brisk and neat, and the long hair is smoothed into a ponytail. The hair flutters in the air with every step. She runs very easily. Not only can easily keep up with the speed of the banquet, but also while running. He smiled and talked to him. And he stretched his hand from time to time, from time to time. The banquet swayed and shook his head and responded to something I didn't know what to say. Gu Ruan's smile was very bright. From the back, she could see her joy and joy. And the usual cold beauty was not at all same. I don't know why. When I saw this scene, Tang Sugar's footsteps suddenly couldn't move. A heart seemed to be pinched up. It was so uncomfortable with soreness. Every time she saw Gururin and the banquet, she had a feeling of something wrong. She always felt that Gu Gururin's attitude towards the banquet was not the same as that of Zhuo Ji's brother. But it is not the same. Gururin seems to be like a banquet, but they grew up together. Not brothers and sisters like brothers and sisters. There is nothing wrong with getting along like this. She does not understand where this feeling comes from. But from small to large, her kind is similar to small animals. Intuition has never been wrong. So, will Gururin really have such feelings for Xiao Xiao's father? Does she actually like Xiao Xiao Dad? Tang Tang was scared by this conclusion. The footsteps suddenly stopped. And the whole heart was shaking like a drum. Next time, she was a little embarrassed and could only watch the two figures in front. It disappeared in her sight. Tang Tang remembered the first meeting with Gu Ruan. She didn't say hello to herself all the time. He didn't seem to know the general. She only spoke to the banquet. The second time was in the holiday villa. She seemed to didn't say anything to herself when everyone praised herself. She never praised it at one time. The last time was the last time in the army. That time she said a lot to herself. She said that the quarterly feast likes health and loves sports. The girl said that grandpa's grandfather, who likes to be a soldier, does not meet each other. But Ji Yanren himself is in conformity. Moreover, Gu Ruan called the banquet to call the brother, but it seems that she never called her a scorpion. Everything in this kind of thing shows that the guess in her heart may not be wrong. However, Gururin is beautiful, has high academic qualifications, high ability, and a family life. If an arrogant woman likes a feast, why not show her heart? I believe that according to her conditions, I would like to marry. The quarterly banquet should be supported by many people. At least the grandfather should be very supportive. Why did the banquet still smash the original owner? Is there something happening in the middle? In other words, Gu Ruan actually showed his intentions. The season banquet also knew her love, but he didn't like her, so he refused her because he was married. So he had to refuse her. After all, this world can only be married with one wife. Which one is the truth? What do you think of the season banquet at this moment? The point in Tang Tang's heart suddenly became precarious because of the good time of the season. Banquet compared with Gu Ruan, she is almost like the dog's tail grass on the ground. He is like this. Do good men really like dog tail grass? Tang Sugar edged and walked aimlessly, and finally did not know where to go. Saw、so、bench and sat down, looking at the distance to start staying. The rain is messy. I don't know how long I have been in a daze, and my shoulders have suddenly been shaken vigorously. Don Sugar, how do you run here alone? Everyone is looking for you. Do you gasp and held the shoulders of Tang Tang? Tang Tang's return to this suddenly remembered what day it was today, and suddenly jumped up and hurriedly asked, "When is it? What? It's almost ten o'clock. Shashi didn't find you from waking up." I have been looking for more than two hours. Now I am so anxious to cry. 
I want to be with my mother. The banquet is also looking for you. Why are you coming out? With a mobile phone, Tang Tang touched the pocket. And when I found out, I forgot to take the mobile phone. The little guy couldn't find her. Should be anxious. How could she run this day's really dying? Don't have time to say anything. Grab the hand of Jiyu and go back. Let's go back. When two people panted and rushed to the front hall. Zhuo Ji first saw them. Where are you going to? Run Tang Tang, Xiao Yin is crying for you. I will call them. Zhuo Ju's phone was dialed out for two minutes. And the quarterly banquet was held by Ji Xiaoyan, followed by Guru Ren. When Ji Xiaoying saw her mother, she just had a long time tears and involuntarily flowed out. While wowing and crying, she stretched her arms toward the candy. And she was wrong and afraid. Mom mother a Tang Sugar has a heart to repent. Ran up and took the little guy over and kissed him. I am sorry, my mother is. Wrong, my mother should not leave you for so long. Don't cry. Hey, Di Xiaoyang squatted on his mother's neck and groaned and complained. Mom, where have you been? Why don't you take me with me? I have been looking for you for a long time and can't. Find it. Are you not wanting me? The little guy's crying shattered the heart of Tang Tang's heart and the tears could not help but flow down. No, my mother will never want to be a baby. Mom just went to the garden to run, and then forgot the time. Just happened again. No mobile phone, so the baby did not find me. My mother is wrong. My mother will not be like this again next time. You forgive my mother. Listening to Tang Tang's explanation, Ji Xiaoyan's frightened heart settled down, slowly stopped crying, and wiped the tears with Tang Xiao sugar with a small hand. Mom, I don't blame you. Don't you cry. If you cry too much, you will not be able to brew. Tang Sugar cried and nodded. Well, the baby won't cry if she doesn't cry. Ji Xiaoyan sucked his nose quickly. Then I don't cry. Tang Sugar handkerchief wiped the tears to the little guy, looked up and saw the quarterly banquet standing silent, facing his deep gaze. Heart panic and quickly escaped. Du Ruin then came forward and wanted to take away Ji Xiaoyan. Kang Sugar will give me a small donkey. You go up and clean up yourself. The guests are coming. You are not seen so well. But Ji Xiao Xiao was reluctant to leave her mother, shaking her head with Tang. Candy's neck. I want to be with my mother. I want my mother to hold it. Tang Tang did not give Ji Xiaoran to Du Ruin and apologized to those present. I'm sorry. I have trouble for everyone. I took the little girl back to the room to clean up. Zhuoji smiled and waved his hand. There is nothing to talk about. Just go up and clean up. Tang Sugar nodded to a few people, holding Di Xiaoying upstairs, although she could not hold him. But she still clung to the unwilling to let go. The feast of the season banquet walked quickly to the side of Tang Tang, took her from her arms, Ji Xiaoyan, I am holding, you can't hold, Ji Xiaoying is about to rebel. And the banquet is watching him seriously. Mom can't hold you. Do you want your mother to hold it? Ji Xiaoyan instantly stumbled and slammed his neck. Tang Tang had to hold Ji Xiaoyan's small hand to walk next to him. The banquet brought Ji Xiaoying into the room and looked at Tang Tang. She did not say her because she was inexplicably gone. She just said, I am going to help the older brother to entertain the guests now. I may not be able to take care of you. You and Xiao. I don't want to run around. I will come to you when I'm done. Tang Sugar silently nodded. The banquet touched the head of Ji Xiaoyan and thought about it and touched her head before I went downstairs. Tang Tang's mood is more complicated, but at this time it's not complicated. She gathers her heart and cleans herself up and Ji Xiaoyan. When she cleans up, both mother and child's emotions have been restored, and the children's forgetting is great. At this point, I started to jump again and again, and I talked to Tang Tang. When the mother and the child went downstairs, the guests had already come a lot. The people who came here were all temperamental, and the drows were not grouped. Everyone gathered together in twos and threes, and each had their own affairs. Tang Tang subconsciously looked for the figure of the banquet. He 
found that he was accompanying Zhuo Ji to entertain guests. They couldn't attend them for the time being. Others didn't know each other. Tang Tang didn't know what to do. He had to take Ji Xiaoyu. Sit and eat together in a corner where no one cares. It's not boring to talk about both the mother and the child while eating something. After a while, Ji Xiaoyan, who was supposed to be in the arms of Tang Tang, suddenly patted her arm. The person who came in at the door said excitedly, Mom, Mom, look. At it, it's to grandfather, grandpa is coming. It, Tang Tang was shocked. The line of sight looked in the direction of Ji Xiaoyan's fingers. I saw a man with a gray hair but a spirited and imposing manner coming in from the door. The old man was full of the majesty of the superior. Tang Tang just wanted to feel that Xiaoyi's grandfather was so powerful that he saw four people behind Ji's grandfather, the four people she actually knew. That was the four people who met at the restaurant and the unhappy season. Who are they? How can I be with grandpa? It was discovered that the grandfather of the season came. And Zhuo Ji and his entourage immediately greeted the grandfather of the season. Zhuo Ji Gu. Chang'an Gu Ruren. And they all said, hello to the grandfather. And the attitude was very respectful. However, Tang Tang found that the banquet was just standing behind a few people. He did not talk to the grandfather and other people during the whole journey. Grandpa did not talk to the banquet as if the two sides did not know each other. It seems that the relationship between the quarterly banquet and the grandfather of the season is not very good. Tang Tang feels that she still doesn't want to go out and talk about it at this time. Maybe grandpa will not take care of her at all. Ji Xiaoyan did not run over to find the grandfather of the season and continued to eat in the sugar candy. Tang Sugar did not know anyone except Ji Ji. I wanted to stay here silently until the end of the birthday banquet, but I thought someone took the initiative to find her. Don Sugar, I didn't expect you to come this time. The appearance of the woman broke the silence in this corner. Tang Tang looked up and immediately recognized the Beautiful and beautiful girl who was the one she met in the restaurant downstairs of GU Company. She had a close relationship with the original appearance. Tang Sugar nodded to her quietly. Tang Mi saw that Tang Tang was so calm this time. His eyes were bright and he couldn't help but sit down on the sofa. He first looked at Ji Xiaoyu in the arms of Tang Tang's arms and smiled and said, I didn't expect Xiaoyan to grow so big. It is. Ji Xiaoyan curiously glared at Tang Mi, who did not know who she was. Looking at Ji Xiaoyan's curiosity, Tang Mi took the initiative to introduce himself to the little guy. Small, I am your mother's sister. You have to call me a little sister. This sentence made Tang Tang feel awkward. This woman is really close to the original relationship. The two are actually sisters. Then the last sick mother, she said, was the mother of the original master. That is her current mother. Ji Xiaoying looked up and looked at Tang Tang. Mom, is she your sister? Don't know how to answer this question. Tang Mi sees this. His eyes are full of complex, dumb voice. Don Sugar, I know you blame me and my parents. But I have said that I have no intention of grabbing your things. I can hand over everything in the Tang family. Let you, in addition to swearing, I can do nothing. But I am really in love with you. Even if you are forced to marry him, you will not be happy. Do you still understand this truth? Have you been so long? What if you can't let it go? Who is it? Why is she unable to let go? When the original owner likes this, he wants to marry him. Tang Tang's brain is a mess, but she can't say a word. See, Tang Tang is always silent. Tang Honey is very disappointing. After a long time to say, Tang Sugar, anyway, my mother gave you life. Now my mother is sick. You go back and see. My mother needs you now. Count me, I beg you. Please, go back and help my mother. Don Sugar doesn't know what to say. If she can, she really wants to find a place to hide so as not to face such a situation that is overwhelmed. However, the performance of Tang Tang seems to be cold and bloodless in the eyes of outsiders. When I was in the season, I walked up and pulled up Tang Honey. The tone was full of 
Distress, honey, what do you have to say to this woman? Who is she? You are still unclear. Why do you want to take this insult? When my mother is really, when the season interrupted her, well, I will find a way. You don't need to whisper here. Tang Honey bit his lip and finally looked at Tang Tang and reluctantly followed the season. When I was on the verge of the season, I squinted at Tang Tang. The disgust and nausea there made Tang Tang, an outsider, feel amazed and had a heartache. Why does this man hate her so much? What is the relationship between them? The arrival of the two was like a whirlwind, disturbing the calm heart of Tang Tang. Leaving her with a lot of thoughts for a time, and her head seemed to be faint. Mom, what's wrong with you? Are you not feeling well? Ji Xiaoying looked at Tang Tang's face is not good. Worried, Tang Sugar shook his head reluctantly. Mom is fine. My mother is a little tired. That mom, I will give you a massage, and you will not be. Tired, Ji Xiaoyan stretched out the chubby hand and began to pinch around the arms and shoulders of Tang Tang. The little guy didn't have the strength. It didn't look like a massage. In the tickling, I got a lot of candy and I was in a good mood. Okay, my mother is not tired at all. The baby is resting for a while. Do you want to play for a while? The little guy was bored with her here. Ji Xiaoyan looked at the child in the distance who had the same little golden monkey as his neck. It was very heartwarming, but he did not want to leave his mother. Tang Sugar smiled and kissed his face. It doesn't matter. My mother will stay here and don't leave when you come back. You can see your mother. Mother promises, listening to Tang Tang. Said, Ji Sheyu hesitated to the ground and went back to his mother while walking away, remember? Don't go. Tang Sugar made a vow, mom guarantee. The little guy finally got peace of mind. Ran away with a small short leg and went straight to a child. It was originally attracted to the children. Tang Sugar watched the little guy go far. And then he pressed his hand on his chest and tried to resist the sudden, uncomfortable feeling. Don Sugar. Are you heartache? You heartache? You heartache? My wife spoils me too much. Chapter 38 The sudden sound made Tang Tang startled and turned around and didn't know when Gu Yuran sat next to her. When did she come? Gu Ruan looked at Tang Tang worriedly. I just saw you talking to Tang Mi and the season. Are you all right? Are you okay? I'm fine. I can do something. I don't know them now. Tang Tang did not want to say anything more than Gu Ruan. When Tang Ting mentioned the season, Tang and Tang Honey did not have a slight fluctuation. Gu Yunren flashed deep thought in his eyes and tried to ask, Don Sugar, you really don't remember the season. Don't you remember his feelings? This made the heart of Tang Ting suddenly jump, but she did not want to go out in front of Gu Ruren and looked directly at her. I lost my memory. I don't know what seasons. I don't know what other people have feelings. I am if you have a husband or child. Please don't talk about it. Gururin paused and smiled apologetically. I'm sorry. I don't mean anything else. I didn't want to say this, but I understand how painful it is to let the loved one let go. It is obvious that you should be the season, the wife's. Everything should be yours, but it was completely robbed by others, if it is me, I will be very reconciled. I think even if you lose your memory, you should have the right to know, and you don't know anything. It's really unfair to you. Tang Tang listened and actually wanted to laugh. Gururin, what do you want to do, do? You not believe that she has lost her memory to test or even if she has lost her memory, she has to remind her of her previous things so that she can restore her memory. What is the purpose of her doing this? She does not believe that a person who likes her husband will really say this for himself. If she is really the original honor and has lost her memory, maybe she will want to find her past and research for her lover. Since then, the banquet has fallen apart so that this calm time will no longer exist. Then Gururin has a chance to get a season banquet. Unfortunately, she is not the original owner. Tang Tang is now very sure. Gururin is like a feast. Want to get a feast now? She wants to start from her side. Originally, I was. 
secretly glad that there was no intrigue between the women in this era of allowing only one husband and one wife, who thought that it still existed. Tang Tang really doesn't like Gururan. This is obviously malicious to her, but she pretends to be a good-looking look. She simply breaks this layer of hypocrisy. What is the purpose of saying this? Is it wanting me, going to pursue the people you really love? Don't you have a good time with the banquet? Do you really want to have problems between me and the banquet? Gururan did not expect that Tang Tang would say such a sharp word directly, which is very inconsistent with her character. I couldn't help but swear. And then I couldn't believe it. What are you talking about? Don't just want. You two, I don't know anything about my own affairs. This kind of life is too sad. Who do you think of me? Why don't I want you to live with the banquet brother? Tang Tang looked straight at her. You know what you think, you know what you have, and you know what you are. Gururan's face changed. What do you mean by this? You tell me clearly. Whoever you like in your heart, you should be clear. Not everyone can't see it. And you shouldn't treat me as a fool. At least I can see it. Gururin suddenly squinted and fixedly staring at Tang Tang, confirming that she was not bombing her, suddenly laughing, laughing without any cover. I didn't expect you to be as innocent as you have shown. Before that luck is all loaded, amnesia is also loaded. You are not amnesia. Tang Sugar was shrinking, and this change immediately fell into Gu's eyes and my heart was more convinced of my judgment. I have long felt that your amnesia is pretending. How can a small car accident not hurt your mind? How can you lose your memory? And how can a person lose memory? It may be like changing a person completely. Don't forget, I am a doctor. I am I have seen patients who are really amnesia. And I am clear about what kind of amnesia people are, do. You think that you will make up a reason for amnesia? The sugar of Tang Tang was tied into a line and it was white. Since she has already torn this layer of window paper, Gururin is not concealed. And she does not want to hide it anymore. She has turned all the hatred in her heart into the sharpest language. Do you know who you are? How annoying. How do you hate someone who loves others but use the tricks of designing a season banquet? Threatening him with your child, and discovering that the banquet can't help you achieve your goal, you start to dislike it. For the quarterly banquet, if it is not the existence of Xiaoyan, do you think that the season banquet will endear you? Is your woman like a banquet? You don't look in the mirror. To see what you are, Tang Sugar squeezed his fists, and the original owner used this method to marry the banquet. No wonder the season banquet did not like her at this time. Gururin completely abandoned her noble and elegant image, like an aggressive executioner who wants to kill the Tang Candy. How? Can't you say the rebuttal? You simply have no way to go. I deliberately lost my memory, because you lost your memory of the banquet. You won't care about it, and you won't divorce you. You won't be like a morning dog. But you said, if the banquet knows you're going to how is it not for memorization? Tang Sugar's nails unconsciously smashed into the meat. But they did not feel any pain, and the brain screamed because of Guyuran's. Last words, when someone smashes some of your deep fears in front of you, you can no longer pretend not to see, although her dissatisfaction is not the same as Guyuran's understanding. One thing is undeniable, that is, she is not a person who gave birth to a small person, nor is he a real wife. She has been cheating them. The banquet is to know that she is not a memory loss but a complete stranger. She knows that she is not a small mother but a lonely ghost. Will he still treat her like this? Will she drive her out directly, looking at the worried expression of fear on the face of Tang Tang? Gururan finally realized the feeling of happiness. The hatred hidden in her heart for so many years made her want to kill this woman. But now it is. Not the time, she still needs to endure. Her Gururin has always been a patient person, and one day she will personally grab the quarterly banquet. Fortunately, this day is coming soon. Don Sugar, the granddaughter of the grandfather of the season. Is me, if it weren't for you, I would have married the banquet. You are all mine now. You wait. I will let the banquet see your true purpose. Mom, 
I told you. The little golden monkey on the neck of the doodle is exactly the same as me, Dad said. That the little monkey who is toot is also sent by the grandmother. We are one or two, and oh, Daju's father is like my father. And it's also the uncle of the People's Liberation Army. It's all superb, Mom. Daju also likes to play with music, but he is not as high as me now. I promised him to play with him next time. DJ Ying excitedly talked to Tang Tang about the things that today's new worship boy had to the children. But said that for a long time, he did not have the enthusiasm of his mother as before, and could not help but pinch the mother's nose. Mom, what happened to you? Have you heard me? Ah, uh, what? Tang Sugar pulled the little guy's hand and was pinched back by the little guy. What did you? Just say to your mother. Ji Shang on side and the little brow screwed up worriedly. Mom, what happened to you? Why are you not happy? Tang Sugar smiled and shook his head. Mom is fine. My mother is a little tired. Oh. This way, the mother. You sleep with me for a while. We will be home soon. Ji Ying patted his shoulder and let the mother rest assured. The heart of Tang Tang was moved by this little man. And his head was gently placed on his young shoulders to close his eyes. Ji Xiaoyan suddenly dared not move, trying to stretch his chest and want his mother to sleep better. The banquet looked at Tang Tang from the rearview mirror, and there was a slight worry in his eyes. After the family arrived at home, it was almost 8 o'clock in the evening. Tang Tang was going to cook in the kitchen. The banquet was holding her hand. I am tired tonight. Don't be so troublesome. I will simply fill the noodles and fill my stomach. Just fine. I will go. The hand that was pulled was hot and trembled. Tang Sugar was innocent at this moment, but he felt his own feelings, took out his hands, and hurried into the kitchen to cook a large pot of noodles. The family ate three. Simple dinner. After the meal, the three people went to the shower one by. One, Tang Sugar habitually took out the foot bath barrel and prepared a bucket of medicinal water to give the seasoned feast soaking feet when I was ready. I was surprised to find that I did this without knowing it. It's a thing, this thing is as natural in her mind as eating and drinking, and I don't need to think at all. How much does she like him, however? Can she still do this for him if she is not a small mother? He will definitely not let her do this again. She takes over the identity of others and enjoys it all but never says it. Does he think she is shameless? Tang Sugar is now in a mess and my heart can't be calm. I can only try to hold my heart down as usual to hold the acupuncture points for the season feast. But pinch the half season feast but hold her hand. Tang Sugar, don't be tonight. Pinch, sleep, sleep. Go to bed early. One night is absent-minded. It is exhausted. Tang Sugar looked up at him. But the dark and deep eyes suddenly made her uncomfortable. She quickly lowered her wet hand and handed the towel to him. That. Then you will have more time. I will go and sleep now. It is good. The banquet watched her go to the other side of the bed and lay down. She held her eyes in her arms and closed her eyes. In the process, she didn't even look at him, cannot help frown, according to her character. She should look up and smile at him sweetly, and then said, My husband, I am not tired. Give you a pinch, I will sleep again. When he sleeps, he will certainly rush to him, smile and say good night. What is it today? The candy that closed her eyes didn't fall asleep. She couldn't sleep. Her heart kept echoing the last sentence of Gururin. You wait, I will let the banquet see. Your true purpose. What does Bururin say about this sentence? Has she found anything? My heart was very upset. This night, Tang Candy slept very badly and even made a terrible dream. In the dream, Du Yanren revealed that she was not the fact that Zhao Xi's biological mother. The banquet was very angry after she knew it. It's a liar. And Ji Xiaoyan doesn't recognize her. The father and son let her leave this house and never come back. She was driven out, nothing, no one knows, no money, and 
finally lived on the streets and became a beggar. The next day, Tang Tang was awakened by his own life. He touched his cheeks and was wet with tears. Mom, how are you crying? Is it painful? Ji Xiangyun came in from the door and saw his mother. Crying, she was scared and rushed to wipe her tears with her little hand. Tang Tang tried to asterisk, 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 asterisk his nose. Nothing. My mother just had a nightmare. It's okay. Now is it? Ji Xiaoying raised his little watch and looked at it. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Tang Tang suddenly sat up from the bed. Why didn't you call your mother to get up? Are you hungry? Mom is going to make breakfast for you. Mom doesn't have to. My father came back to bring me breakfast in the morning. Dad told me not to call you, saying that you are tired and have a good rest, and that you are awake to ask you to have breakfast. Tang Tang's heart suddenly tasted unspeakable, and the mood was happy and sad. The happy father is so good to her, but the sad one is that this is too illusory, and it may be shattered at any time. Tang Tang took Ji Xiaoyuan tightly in his arms and couldn't help but tempted to ask, Baby, mother asks you a question. If your mother is not a mother, would you like your mother? Ji Xiaoyan was puzzled at the temple. But you are my mother. Dad said that I came out of your belly. I mean, if you came out of someone else's belly, would you like me and call my mother? This problem is too difficult for Ji Xiaoying to understand. And the little fingers are tangled and pinched and can't think of it. Seeing that it is difficult for a child to come, Tang Tang knocked on his own head and felt that he was really a conjac. Since yesterday, he has been worried about this matter, but it is useless to worry about it. The coming will always come, if it is every day, because this thing is worried. Will you not have to live that day? Moreover, who can think of her as a resurrection? Gurun thinks that she is in the loss of memory. She should have thought more in order to prevent himself from being affected again. Tang Tang decided to keep himself busy every day so that there is no time to think about it. Just agree to the text to give her a dress, but also promise to make a dress for her and now nothing can be done. So Tang Tang bought a lot of fabrics from the internet every day besides doing housework and taking care of Ji Xiaoyan. He was burying his head and making clothes when he was busy, he really left Gu. Ruin behind, and the days returned to calm. Only in the dead of night, Tang Sugar side peeks at the figure of the banquet, or cannot help but think of what Gu Ruin said. She said that if it is not the original owner, she has long been married to. The banquet, the granddaughter that the grandfather wants, is actually she was. Think carefully, Gu Ruin and the feast of the banquet grow up together. Gururin's family appearance ability is outstanding. The two should also be the door to the right. The grandfather of the season wants the banquet to be considerate. It should be true. Gururin did not dare hear lie in the matter. Did the banquet also want to ignore the sorrow? Is it because the original owner has dismantled both of them? Does the season banquet still like Gu Yamrin? Well, Tang Tang admits that she still wants to know if the season feast likes Gururin. She likes the banquet. She wants the banquet to like her too. So she can work hard for it and even give her everything. But if a man already has someone else, how can she walk into his heart? It's impossible. I remember that the milk lady said that it doesn't matter if you don't have a man in your heart. But you must not have someone else. Once a man has someone in his heart, you will never walk into his heart. Don't invest in a man who has someone else in your heart, or else you will hurt yourself. Tang Tang feels that the milk lady is right. Think carefully about the relationship between the banquet and Gu Yuran. It seems that the banquet is not so special for Gu Yuran, but it is not as cold as other people. He will practice with Gu Yuran, talk to her, and even laugh with her. He clearly did not laugh at her several times. Tang Tang actually wanted to ask. The quarterly banquet, but many times he opened his mouth but could not tell. Yes, why should she ask? The season feast does not like her, and she is not his real wife. Moreover, if the answer that I came up with in the future is what she does not 
Want, how can I get along with it later? Tang Tang had to continue to bury himself in the ostrich style, pretending to know nothing, although Tang Tang was not the same in peacetime. The quarterly banquet was still keenly aware of the wrongness of Tang Tang. She has recently had a few appearances with him, as if she was deliberately hiding from his gaze. Occasionally, she will be very quick to see. And she will be ashamed and happy to look at him before. And then sweet, sweetly yelling at him. Husband, she seems to seldom call him that day. What's up with her? What happened? What happened? What happened? My wife spoils me too much. Chapter 39 What do you want to be so serious in the old season? Dong Li took the shoulder of the next banquet and sat down next to him. The banquet looked at the distance and said nothing. Dong Li smiled and gave himself a cigarette. He took out one and handed it to him. You have something to worry about these days. The banquet reached out and took the cigarette into the mouth. He took the lighter in Dong Li's hand and took a deep breath, then slowly spit out a ring of smoke. Old season, I haven't seen you smoke for a long time. Every time you smoked, every time because you were worried about Xiaoyan. You haven't smoked since Xiao Xiao and Tang Tang came to the army. I almost thought you were quit. Perhaps no one has thought that the season banquet, which has always been excellent and self-disciplined, is called a child's family. The banquet has actually started smoking since the age of 15, and it is particularly fierce. It can kill too. Packs of cigarettes a day. This situation continues. To Ji Xiaoyan's voice, the child's healthy season banquet has been drawn from now on, only occasionally when I go out to work. I can't worry about the family's Ji Xiaoyan's picking one until the Tang Sugar mother and son come together. The season. The feast has almost quit smoking. And this is the first time in so many days, it can be seen that there is something in my heart. The banquet was a little bit smoky, nothing. Dong Li didn't quite believe it. If he didn't say it, he guessed himself. Is it a quarrel with Tang Tang? Are two people awkward? The banquet took a sip of smoke. It seems that it is right. Dong Li couldn't help but be curious. Is it really awkward? It is. Reasonable to say that it shouldn't be a, uh, now that the Tang Tang is so jealous, I still like you to be like a baby. Can you be willing to quarrel with you? I think it is cool for you. The face is almost the same. The former Tang Tang Dong Li is. Not good to say, but now the Tang Tang soft is just like the dough. And it is good and good. And the two seasons of the banquet are quickly petted to the sky. Can she be willing to make a conflict with the banquet? Impossible. The banquet glanced at him and said, Don't guess, it's not what you think. We are fine. Dong Li Kai did not believe his words. He felt that in all likelihood. The quarterly banquet did not really forgive Tang Tang's previous actions. He did not hesitate to persuade. I said the old season, the past things have passed, now and in the future. It is the most important thing, since she has lost her memory. You should not hold on to the previous things. People are very good now. You have used all your heart and you. And you are tolerant of others. Let's be a big man and a girl. The banquet faintly glanced at him. Where do you see that I am holding on to the previous things? Don Lee thinks about it too. The quarterly banquet is not a person who cares a lot with a woman, but he does not get along with a woman. He has a cool face every day. Even if he doesn't care about the previous things, maybe Tang Tang thought he was in the case of it. Since you don't care about people, you can live well with Tang Tang. If you are better with others, women need to be pampered. If you are not good to others, how can people always be sorrowful to you? Although Dong Li did not have a family, but he has a lot of experience in love. He really understands that men and women get along. So the season feast did not regard his words as a fart. When I smoked a few cigarettes in silence, when Dong Li thought he would not speak, he spoke. I didn't feel bad about her because of the previous things. Dong Li wants to turn his eyes. I don't have a bad idea about her, but it's two concepts. If you forget it, the man you haven't talked about in love doesn't know. I told you this on the right. Wife. 
We all have to pay tribute to Zhang Cheng. You see, Zhang Cheng, the other party away is good. The money is all paid. The housework is all inclusive. The cold is warm and sent. The birthday Valentine's Day gift will not be less. I guess this kid he will wash his wife in the evening. Don Lee said that he talked about the goosebumps and shook his shoulders. Forget it, Zhang Cheng, the wife of the wife, can't do it. The faces of the big men are gone. Let's work hard. It's almost a third, and a third of its good will make your wife die. The banquet silently took off the smoke in his mouth and looked at the distance and meditated. Money is all handed over to the house. Their housework is all done by Tang Ting. He does nothing, and the money is in his hands. Asked about the cold and sent it to you. It seems to be done by Tang Ting. I have to come out to pick him up every day. He has to worry about it for a long time. Birthday Valentine's Day gift. He didn't seem to have given her any gifts. Only gave money, and he didn't know when she was. Birthday, wash your feet. This is also what Tang Tang did for him. He has not done it. When I thought about it, he seemed to have never done anything for her. She didn't even buy a dress for her. The clothes on her clothes were made by her own. She gave her all the money. She didn't spend any money on her own. It's hard that she also feels that she is not good to her. So she is not happy. So this time is the case. Don Lee is sincerely hoping that his old friend is happy. He can see that his change has come from Tang Sugar and Xia Yan. The whole person has a sense of happiness, although he may not know it. Therefore, he did not want to miss this happiness because of his old friend's incomprehensible feelings. Old season, I used to advise you to divorce Tang Sugar, but now the situation is different. Tang Sugar has forgotten the previous things. Now the character is good and good, and you and all the little sisters let all the men hey, and she is still a mother of Xiaoyan. If she can go on, she will forget the previous things. This is good for Xiaoyan, and people with good eyes can see that Tang Tang is really like you. As long as you are look always on you, that look is really very exciting for us single dogs. So ah. You give people a chance. Better for others. Don't let people cold their hearts. The banquet extinguished the smoke that had not yet been exhausted and stood up to pat the shoulders of Dang Li. I am leaving. Hey, why are you leaving? You didn't listen to what I said. The banquet is going home a lot earlier than usual. Tang Sugar is sitting on the sofa to make clothes. It is very strange to see the banquet come back so early. Are you coming back so early? I haven't made dinner yet. I am now. Go and do it. The banquet held her shoulder. It's still early. I will wait. You will be busy with you first. It's still early for Tang Tang to see the time. I will do dinner, and I will look down and make a bow. The feast was silently sitting on the sofa, watching her fly the needle for a while, and then she moved her eyes from her hand to the clothes she was doing. It was a skirt. This dress is different from what you did some time ago," he said suddenly. Tang Tang nodded. The last time I did it was to give Wen Wen a skirt. I have already sent it to Wen Wen. Now I am doing it for Ji Yu. Last time Jiu Grandma's birthday feast, she said that she wants a skirt. I promised her. The banquet was licking her lips, and her eyes were deep. She remembered that when she first bought the fabric, she said that she bought fabrics for him and Xiao Xuan. He also said that he was going to make a shirt for him, but he could have a small trousers. Well done. His shirt has been slow to see her. She didn't want to do it for him. The season banquet suddenly felt very uncomfortable, but this uncomfortable but could not be said, which made him a little annoyed. Simply stood up and wanted to find something to do. Cannot find anything in a circle. The hum was tang. The sugar was packed very well, and there was nothing he could do. In desperation, he had to walk into the room and pick up his military books to start reading. However, after reading it for a long time, I didn't read what I said in the book. The banquet simply put down the book and closed my eyes and meditated. After a few seconds. I took out my mobile phone and went to Gu Chengon for a call. 
Du Chang'an was very surprised when he called him at this time. When the banquet opened his first sentence, his chin was almost scared. Ji Yu is not happy. How do you usually do it? Du Chang'an almost thought he had got it wrong. What do you say? The banquet was repeated again and again. Ji Yu is not happy. How do you usually do it? Gu Chang'an finally made sure that he had not misunderstood and lifted his chin up. After a long time, he said, Don't be happy. You want to marry her. The feast was silent. Gu Chang'an suddenly wanted to laugh. I didn't expect that. The quarterly banquet, which has always been turned behind by the woman but turned a blind eye, would have a day when I wanted to marry a woman. I suddenly wanted to share with you what to do. But as soon as I shared this brother, I couldn't do it. Gu Chang'an had to hold on to laugh and try to pretend to be the usual way. This is simple. If Ji Yu is not happy, I will vote for it and send it to you. I will buy her beautiful clothes and beautiful jewelry plus skincare cosmetics. She is happy. Gu Chang'an said that suddenly the style of the painting turned. The voice was a bit cumbersome. But brothers, these are not the best ways. The best and most effective way is to give her a romantic candlelight dinner. The romantic couple's exercise. Giving her the comfort and comfort of her life. The second day, the anger is gone. My brother tells you the truth. Nothing can be solved in bed. The feast. Let you buy me the best skincare product. I will transfer it to her. Gu Chengen was screaming twice. And it was a pity. I really don't think about the best way to do it. It is guaranteed to be useful. The season feast decisively hangs up. As a husband, he seems to be a little derelict. She has always been paying, but he has never done anything for her. He seems to have not treated her as a wife because of the previous events. Maybe Dong Li is right. He did not think about the previous things. It is the most important thing in the future. She is really good now. Such a family is exactly what he needs. She is not thinking about getting beautiful. She should buy her skincare products. The movement of Ji Yu over there was very fast. And the next day, the best skincare products from the world were sent to the banquet. Go in. Home that day, the banquet held a box of skincare suits that were inconsistent with his tough guy's image. A lot of people were attracted to the scene. And the banquet could only step into the house without squinting. Ji Xiaoying first discovered the things in his father's hands. He didn't know what it was. He curiously studied it in his hands. He thought it was eating. He found that he was not. And he looked up and asked his father a little disappointed. What is this? Give it to me. The banquet knocked on his small forehead and gestured to the kitchen with his eyes. I want to add you. This is for my mother. You send it to her for dad. Ji Ying was given to her mother. Her eyes lit up and immediately screamed with a small mouth and excitedly asked, Dad, do you want to pursue your mother? Seasonal banquet. Do you know what is the pursuit? Ji Xiaoyan felt that he was underestimated and immediately replied with a chin, I certainly know that the pursuit is that the boy gives the girl a gift and then she is happy. She is a boy girlfriend. This is just three years old. The boy really knows that the quarterly banquet is slightly surprised. But he does not know where he learned from this, and in all likelihood, it is television. However, he is not a pursuit. He is only maintaining family harmony, giving Ji Shegu a good growth environment. Dad doesn't need to pursue a mother. Because my mother is already a father's wife, so I don't have any idea to send a Mother's gift. Ji Xiaoyan's eyes turned and sneaked at the candy in the kitchen. He went to his dad's ear and said, But dad, it's sincere to send a girl's gift. Or the girl doesn't like you. So dad, you have to give it to your mother. Suddenly felt that Ji Xiaoyan couldn't watch TV again in the future. If he looked at it, he was really afraid that this kid would bring him a little wife back. Ji Xiaoyan firmly refused to give his father a gift in desperation, the quarterly banquet had to be sent by himself, but he only received gifts from girls when he was young and he never did anything to give a girl gift. I just felt awkward and couldn't tell a word in this way. I have been dragged to the end of the meal and went to sleep. 
The banquet did not send the gift out. I was so anxious that Ji Xiaoyan was squinting at him and squeezing his small face into a bunch of buns. Tang Tang looked at Ji Xiaoyan strangely. Baby, what's wrong with your face, is it? Uncomfortable, Ji Xiaoyan was so scared that he immediately restored his facial expression and shook his head. He said, there is no mother. On TV, it is good for face lifting. I have too much skin on my face. I need to be thinner and more. Handsome, really like this. I didn't seem to have heard it. Tang Tang seems to understand and nod. The quarterly banquet quietly looked at the eye-catching season Xiao Xiao. Giving an appreciative look, Ji Xiaoying has no choice but to spread his hand to his dad. Or you can solve it yourself. I can't help you. The feast of the banquet stared at the sugar candy that gave him a foot bathing, seeing that she hadn't looked up at her tonight. She didn't even look at her. Even she didn't even smile. I felt that I could do it anymore. At the last moment, I took things out and silently handed them to Tang Tang. Tang Sugar blinked, very confused. What is this? The quarterly banquet cleared the throat and said with a blank expression, This is a skincare product. It is sent by others. I can't use it for you. Tang Sugar Strange who will send this to the big man of the season banquet. But thought about it still did not ask deeply. Thank you, thank you. I will use it well. The banquet thought she would be very excited to open it. And then said to him sweetly, Thank you, husband. I like it too much. She just thanked her. And then she went to the bathroom. She doesn't seem to be excited at all. Does she like this? Until the season Xiao Xiao had already slept and snorted. The quarterly banquet still couldn't understand. Looking sideways, there was no darkness in the darkness. I couldn't sleep, so I screamed. Tang Sugar, well, what happened to my husband? Tang Sugar did not sleep. The quarterly banquet hesitated, still asked, that, don't you like it? Well, what? It's the skincare product, don't you like it? Tang Tang stunned. Strange how strange he is tonight, but still tell the truth. No, I like it very much. My skin just needs this. The one you gave me looks good. Look like I like it. Then let's sleep, though. Well, then I slept. The banquet did not wait for a while to come to Tang Tang's daily sentence husband good night and waited for only the sound of sleeping. The banquet suddenly wanted to smoke. But there were mothers and sons, and he held back. The next night's banquet gave Gu Chengen a phone call. This time, he did not open the door to Chang Ching and ask, Is it still? The same problem, although listening to his tone is full of gloating. But the quarterly banquet has to say, She does not like, You let Jiu buy me something that women will like. Gu Chengen actually wants to say that it may not be the cause of. The thing, the key is to find the reason why people are not happy, but the words are swallowed and the bad water comes out of the stomach. He still doesn't order it. Let the banquet go and explore it himself, and let him taste the feeling of being frustrated in the woman, who makes this kid so big is so cool for women. Oh, it's not that you don't report it, it's not time. So the Badai brother Gu Chengen said, well, I let you buy it for you, but I can't just send things. Sometimes the actual action is better. Women are more emotional animals. You give her washing your feet by one may be more fun than receiving a gift. The quarterly banquet was silent for a long time on the phone and hung up. Gu Chengen hangs up on the chair and laughs. He's already thinking about the season banquet. This tough guy is going to wash his feet with his wife, but think about it and think that he wants more. Nothing comes up. Ji Yu saw her husband numb and kicked him. What is it like a neuropathy? Gu Chengen took Ji Yu to his lap and sat down with her to share this with her. At the end, I said, I originally wanted to see the picture of the banquet for the wife to wash his feet. Unfortunately, it is impossible. The kid was too. Cold to be a woman from small to big, and he couldn't do it for 100 things. Ji Yu did not agree with this statement. She smiled meaningfully. That cannot be seen. The tough guy encounters soft water like Tang Ting, usually turned into a soft. You wait. Eat, 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 eat. My wife spoils me too much. 
Chapter 40. This month, I prepared a lot of things for the banquet. A Chanel latest dress plus high heels, LV limited edition bag, a set of cosmetics, and two very asterisk 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 lace lingerie suits when the banquet saw. These two sets of lace underwear that could not be covered at all. The whole person was a little bit bad. What is the husband and wife doing? How to buy him this? How can this kind of thing be sent? If you send Tang Ting, he should be a pervert. The banquet was very glad that I opened it in advance and checked it instead of giving it directly to Tang Tang. The question is, what should I do with this underwear now? Bringing home is definitely not enough. Returning to Gu Chang'an is a bit of a sentimentality. If you throw it away, people who have been cleaned up will definitely have a misunderstanding. The quarter feast is sitting in the office and staring at the two sets of underwear for a long time. They all got sour and finally decided to lock it in the bottom of the office drawer and will never open it in the future. Solve this disharmony factor, other things, the season feast still feels very good. Even if he does not understand women, but also knows that no woman does not like clothes, shoes, bags, and cosmetics, Tang Tang is not thinking about becoming beautiful. Then she, I will definitely like it. The banquet once again brought things back home, this time. Ji Xiaoyan didn't need to study to know that these things were not for him but for his mother. So he patted his father's shoulders and expressed a smile and encouragement. You have to cheer. Don't be so slow. The man is just to be. The banquet was suddenly very doubtful. How did his son see so much? Who is it with? The season banquet did not drag this time. He put the things directly on the bed, and Tang Tang could see it as soon as he entered the room. Sure enough, Tang Tang immediately found a big box on the bed, looked strangely, determined that it was not something at home, and saw that it was not like it could not move, and then reached out and opened the box. Inside is a pure white sleeveless dress, a pair of red high heels, a red lady bag, and a set of cosmetics that make people can't read what is written. How can there be so many women in the family? Tang Sugar could not help but look at the door of the bathroom, where the banquet was taking a bath. This thing is not brought back by her. Nor can it be Ji Xiaoyan. Then it may only be brought back by the banquet. But where did he come from these women? Is it still the same as the last one who gave it to him? After thinking about it, Tang Xiao Jiao was waving in the living room, driving in the living room, baby. Come on, Ji Xiaoyan heard. The call of his mother immediately turned his car and adjusted his head and skillfully drove the car into the room. Mom, what did you call me? Tang Sugar pointed at the box on the bed, baby. Do you know what it is? Where is it? Ji Xiaoyan turned his eyes and felt that he could not reveal his father's surprise to his mother in advance. So he shook his head. Mom, I don't know. You can ask dad. Tang Tang had nodded and was about to cover the lid back. The door of the bathroom was squeaky and the quarter feast wiped his hair out from the inside. He saw Tang Tang open the box and his eyes flashed a little nervous. Husband, I want to ask you, are these things yours? In the face of Tang Sugar doubts, the feast of the season, banned his fists on his lips and cleared his throat. The voice could not hear any emotions. Do you said that women like these? So I asked her to buy you some. You look like or not. Is it for her? Tang Tang Blink suddenly felt that the quarterly banquet was a bit strange in the past few days. Why do you always buy something for her? It's not a birthday and it's not a holiday. And she doesn't need these things at all. This dress uses the words of the people here. It's too sexy. And she's exposed her arms and legs. How dare she wear this with this high heel? The heel is as thin as the needle. And it's 8 centimeters. It's going to be worn on the foot. Two steps are estimated to enter the hospital. Finally, cosmetics, her skin. Condition is so bad. And then using cosmetics will make the skin worse. Makeup is definitely not. Therefore, if these things are given to her, they can only be put on one side. And it is too wasteful to throw such expensive things. Tang Tang feels very painful and can't help but ask the doubts in my heart. 
Husband, how do you think of buying these for me? It's too wasteful. The eyes of the banquet flashed. I don't know how to say it. I thought for a long time before I replied. Well, you have to work hard at home to take care of the house every day. It is not a waste to buy this. It turned out that she was rewarded with her hard work. No wonder she was old. But where does she bring her children with hard work? This is what she should do. And where is the reward? Listening to Wen Wen said that the woman here does not go to work to make money at home. There is no status. It will be ignored by her husband. But he not only refuses to abandon her but also rewards her. This is too good. He is so good to her wife who was so bad before she had no feelings. If she changed the girl he really liked, what would it be like? Who is the lucky woman who he really likes? This woman is just fine, but unfortunately, when I think of Tang Tang, I remembered Guru Ren's words. My heart was a little embarrassed. I tried to suppress this point. I looked up and smiled at the feast. Thank you for your husband, but don't buy it later. I take care of the family. Yes, I don't need these things. If something is bought, it can't be retired. She still accepts it, but she can't accept it next time. Just because she is here to eat white and drink, this thing is also done. Yes. Where is the reward? The feast of the season saw her accept, but there was no happy expression, and she frowned and couldn't see if she liked it or didn't like it. Simply ask, "Do you like it?" Tang Tang didn't like much, but she felt that he was kind enough to buy things for himself. If he said that he didn't like it, he would definitely hurt people. So he decided to scatter a good lie and smiled and nodded. Well, I like it very much. The banquet was a sigh of relief, and there was a smile in his eyes. Like it, Tang Tang solemnly put the things in the cupboard and then turned around and talked about the business with the banquet husband. I am going to start school soon. Is our baby going to school solved? This season's banquet has been dealt with long ago. We have a kindergarten in our. Family's home. The children in the military area are going to school. I have already said hello. I will take the season to take the name tomorrow. Just send him to school. Oh, that's good. But what do you need to prepare for registration? I will take the baby. You are busy with your work anyway. I am fine at home. The banquet was shaking his head. Nothing. I will take your mother and son together for a trip tomorrow. You are not familiar with this. I will take you to know each other first, and then you will pick you up and go to school. Tang Tang thinks about it too. She doesn't know the teacher here. It is better to go to the banquet to get to know it. So I agreed. I turned around and found Ji Jiaying's small school bag. I packed the little guy's pencil case and other books, then handed the bag to Ji Xiaoyu. Baby, you have to carry your little bag to the new school tomorrow. Ji Jiaying is preparing to take over his school bag. The season banquet first took him in the past, pulled the zipper out of the bag, and then took out a book in it and opened it. It was empty and empty. Did not do. This is the arithmetic exercise book, which is all within 100 plus and minus. This is the quarterly banquet bought at the beginning of the summer vacation for Ji Jiaying's summer homework. He is afraid that Ji Jiaying is crazy at home during a summer vacation. I want him to practice his brain, save the brain from going to school, and he won't turn around. I didn't expect this kid to do a problem. The feast of the season feasted to let Ji Xiaoyan come over and put him out of the car and stood up. Ji Jiaying explained to me, "How did you do it in one?" Ji Xiaoyan twisted his fingers and looked down at the. Ground, Ji Xiaoying. My father has never checked your homework for two months because Dad believes that you are a self-manageable child and will not forget to write homework. But now you need to give me an explanation. Tang Tang didn't think she was just picking up her school bag and packing up such a big thing. Seeing that the situation was not good, I quickly went over and turned over the exercise book in the hands of the season banquet. I found that it was really blank, and for a while, it is angry and self-blame. I was angry because Ji Jiaying didn't write a word. Going to school is learning knowledge. It's what students should do when they come back. 
Tang Tang's love for Ji Xiaoyan will not condone him not to write homework. She doesn't want to be small. At a young age, I don't have to work asterisk 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 my studies. Tang Tang is also very self-blaming because she does not know that Ji Xiaoying has homework. She thought that the teacher did not have a job and she did not have any homework. If she knew that Ji Xiaoyu had homework, she would surely supervise him every day. Of Tang Sugar is sorry to see the season banquet. My husband is sorry. I don't know if Xiao Xiao has homework. If I know that I will supervise him, I will. Arch him to study next time. The banquet twisted the eyebrows and waved at Tang Tan. Tang Sugar, this is not your problem. This is Ji Xiao Xiao's own business. If a person doesn't even know what he should do and needs someone to supervise, then such people will accomplish nothing. Tang Tang was suddenly speechless and had to admit that the quarterly banquet was right. It seems that she would teach her baby more in this respect. She was negligent, seeing that my mother is so self-blaming. Ji Xiaoyan finally looked up and said, Dad, I think these topics are too simple. It is a waste of time to write these, so I didn't write. Tang Tang was surprised to open his eyes because of Ji Xiaoying's words, I really didn't expect. His reason too. Be like this, the banquet did not have any surprise on Ji Xiaoying's words. He knew that Ji Xiaoying would do it. This kid is smart. The addition and subtraction in this booklet is not a problem for him. But his purpose is not to let him practice. Addition and subtraction, Ji Xiaoying. Can you not write homework? If you feel that you don't want to write, why don't you explain it directly to me? Is this the attitude I teach you? The banquet knows that sometimes smart people tend to they all lose on arrogance and look down on simple things. But sometimes it is just those simple things that determine your success or failure. He does not want Ji Xiaoyu to be wise and empty. And even the most basic rules are not followed. Ji Xiaoyan once again bowed his head and silenced for a long time. He looked up and said apologize. I am sorry, Dad, I am wrong. I will not be again next time. The banquet did not let this matter happen because he apologized. Instead, he said, Now, as a punishment for doing something wrong, you can run five laps. Do you have any opinions? Ji Chaeyeon shook his head. Loudly, no opinion. Okay. Now you have to finish your homework and quit running tomorrow. Ji Xiaoying said that he took out his own small pencil and went to the desk to start writing with his homework. Tang Tang had no comment on the punishment of the banquet. But after reading the time, it is almost 9 o'clock. How can I finish this time? I can't help but plead with the banquet. Husband, they are going to sleep. So thick one. This cannot be done at once. The baby is still young and can't stay up late. Can't write tomorrow. The banquet was waved to show her peace of mind. Don't worry, he writes very quickly. Won't stay up late. You can rest assured to take a shower. Can, how can Tang Tang be assured, but cannot intervene in the banquet to educate the children? Had to worry about packing clothes to go to the bathroom to bathe, washing much faster than usual when I saw it. I saw that Ji Xiaoying still maintained in the posture of writing homework. She had to run into the bathroom to prepare a bucket of foot bathing feet for the banquet. While doing the daily pinching at the banquet, she accompanied Ji Xiaoyu to write homework and thought that she would wait until the foot was finished to give Ji Xiaoyu a feeling, let him sleep early. As a result, Tang Tang was shocked by the fact that she had not pinched her feet. Ji Xiaoyan took the workbook and ran to hand it to the banquet. Dad, I wrote it. The season banquet came over. Well, let me check it out. You are going to take a bath yourself. After the shower, let's talk. Ji Xiaoyu knew that he had done something wrong, so he felt very guilty. He took his own pajamas and went into self-sufficiency. He did not dare to violate his father's meaning and even dared not let her help him with Tang Tang. Tang Tang was surprised by the speed of Ji Xiaoying and even the action of pinching his feet stopped. It was only after two hours of watching the time, two hours to complete an arithmetic problem. Isn't Ji Xiaoyan fooling his dad? 
Tang Tangsheng was afraid of the season banquet and found that the quarter was written and the punishment was even worse. He was worried that he was panicked and his eyes went to the workbook in the hands of the banquet. The banquet Yuguang saw the look of Tang Tang and he was very funny. He just patted his position next to him. You come over and help check it out. Tang Tang should have refused, but he was too worried about Ji Xiaoyan. Finally, he moved to the side of the banquet and he took a look at Ji Xiaoying's homework. She has been here for a long time, which is enough for her to learn to read and write Arabic numerals. So now I have no problem with Ji Xiaoying's homework. Tang Tang first took a cursory look at the workbook and found that each of the above questions was read. 10 with an answer, two hours of light can fill in each question very well, but the correct rate does not know how. I don't know if it's wrong, the season will not be angry. Tang Tang began to check Qi Jiaying. And then she was surprised because she found that these questions were really not written by a child who had not officially attended school at the age of three originally. She thought that Ji Xiaoyi would write some additions and subtractions within 10 degrees. Who knows that the number of these questions is quite large and some of the questions are even thought of by her adult who has studied and counted. Is this really a topic for a three-year-old baby? Husband, these questions are really for the baby. Is it too difficult? How can the banquet not see the doubts of Tang Tang and explain to her Xiao Xiao's memory is very good and his learning ability and thinking ability are also very strong especially in calculating this aspect. When other children are learning to count, he I have mastered the addition and subtraction within 10 degrees. Later, I taught him some mental arithmetic knowledge. He does not need to draft drafts within 100 or less now. So this kid feels too simple and does not want to do it. Tang Tang, hey, is she the most? Stupid person in the family, look at Tang Sugar squinting and self-stubbing. The banquet is inexplicably very cute, so I don't know how much more. Actually, I know it is not difficult for him. But I don't want him because I look down on some simple. Once things don't work, even simple things must be taken seriously, so I will punish him tonight. Tang Tang suddenly agreed to nod, compared with the banquet. She really did not educate the children. But fortunately, there is a banquet. The baby has such a dad to teach and grow up will be very good. Finally, I saw a little worship and admiration in the eyes of Tang Tang. The feast of the season was a good mood. I continued to say, at the beginning of this semester, I will train the season to calculate the multiplication and division within 100 yards. His thinking and computing skills when he is officially in school, let him carry out deeper learning. Can multiplication and division within 100 of them be considered deep? Learning, isn't she like this idiot? Tang Tang suddenly remembered what the head of the sergeant said when chatting. He said that the banquet was a high-level master of S. And her brain was top-notch. He is now very much in agreement with this, but also deeply aware that she really dragged their hind legs after dragging the back of the Tang Tang to Ji Xiaoying to check the 10th question. The quarterly banquet has finished the whole inspection. Yes. Count this kid seriously. Tang Sugar silently put down the workbook and silently went to do his own thing. The author has something to say. One day, the banquet returns to the office, opens the bottom drawer, and hands out the two sets of underwear that he vowed never to take out.